All right. Hello. My name is Mr. Wise Guy for the tenth time, and uh, welcome to Satisfactory. It's a good game. Episode ten. We did this too many times for me to really care too much on how I'm gonna say it. So yeah, um, I've said a lot, and uh, the first time I did it, um, it didn't work. The second time I did it, it didn't work. Um, but uh, I'm gonna skip from the second time to the ninth time. The ninth time I did it. Everything was perfect, and then another instance of satisfactory came into play. I don't know why, so I don't understand how I was able to do that. My computer was starting to lag, and、uh, there was no way I could use that that footage. It was great. All right, I'm gonna stop complaining. Episode ten, yeah, it's a good game. It's a fun game, but remember, like and subscribe. Comments are great too. Thank you very much. Now on to whatever I was talking about. Um, we're gonna continue. I did a little bit of stuff. I also did something cool. We got all these buildings now that we can just plop down. It does everything. I did this all by myself. It was great. It was cool. We got a manufacturer, like blueprints. That's also pretty epic. We also got. We basically got everything that we that we would most likely need. Um, foundries, constructors. The only thing I gotta do is upgrade the belts when I get the new belts. We got assemblers. Look at that! Look at that! It's nice. It's really cool. I like I like the fact that I have these now that I could just plop them down. And we're on episode eight, so you know what we can do. You know what's really cool? Let me show you. Let me show you. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna place it, and then we're gonna walk around and be like, "Hey, it's just sitting here." Hey, I I want this white line to be right here. You know what we can do? There we go. We got the white line right there. Perfect. Awesome. Nudge mode. It is a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. There we go. There we go. Nice. All right. Cool. All right. No more gushing around that. But that's what I did with the foundries here and these right here. Had to connect them up. Did my thing. My little spaghetti, and it just works. Oh, so what I was gonna do. Is make a new location、uh, for drop、uh, for a pickup zone where we can have a, a tractor come over here and get some some、uh, some steel. Cause、uh, I'm gonna be needing a little bit more steel coming into the base, and I don't want to just bring more coal. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to、um, we're gonna move myself because we're not gonna be this little tiny little thing here. We're gonna be on the top right, top left. Yeah, top left of the screen, cause、uh, that's where I like to be when I'm playing Satisfactory. Let's go. All right. So this steel place is making a certain amount.、Uh, well, the problem is is that the base doesn't have enough steel. So I made this location for steel, and it's literally on top of a little water location. So we got a nice little water. Uh, in, an interesting place of how to get the water into the base, which is really nice. Got pumps doing all this thing. We got water coming in. I deleted some of these roads. That's why I gotta fix that. I don't got any paint things though. Look at the little coal machine coming back, drill delivering all this nice, tasty, tasty coal.、Um, but yeah, this is gonna be like my little location base where I just, if I need excess stuff, the starter base. This is it. It does the thing, and that's great. So what I'm gonna do now is、uh, is get steel.、Um, I have to make a、um, an output location. So I'm gonna do it right here, and then oh, that's what I I needed more、um, concrete. I forgot. All right, so I'm gonna do that. Get concrete, come back, and finish making the output location. Damn, the driving mechanics on these things now is so cool. I like it a lot. I really do. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We made the base, or at least the front of the base, because over here it still looks kind of garbage. But we made the base look really nice now. So we got a nice little walk place getting up here. You know what? Here, I'll show you. I'll show you. It looks really cool, and we made this really cool.、Um, well, you know, this is a blueprint making machine, and we got those nice little tall locations to go on because I got a jetpack, so I might as well just utilize it. But look at this! Look at this! That's really nice. That's really nice. 
I think it looks really cool. And it plays to my green aesthetic, too. It's really cool. I like it a lot. I really do. Look at this. Look at this. Yes. We got ladders going up when I don't have a jetpack. It looks really cool. Oh, yeah. We never found um, uh, turbo fuel, so uh, big sad. But, uh, yeah, so a gas plant. Uh, probably not going to be able to do it this this time, but gas plant. Um, yeah, we'll eventually do that event. We'll, event we'll eventually do that eventually because uh, that's not redundant at all. Turning wood into coal. If it was turning coal into wood, that would be amazing. Because there's, I don't think there's a recipe in the game that where we can just make infinite um, biofuel yet. Or at least I don't have that alternate recipe yet. So, so this is, this is basically all that I've done in my spare time. Made this place look really nice. And I also decided to, instead of doing the gas thing, because I never actually found turbo fuel, the turbo fuel alt, uh, alt, alt recipe or whatever. I don't know if it's an alt recipe or maybe I need to... Maybe I'm looking for something that doesn't exist and I need to unlock the um, upgrades, space elevator upgrades. But I don't know. Uh, I think I found it in alternate recipe. That's I think that's how I found it the first time. I really love the drifting mechanics on this thing. It's so fun. It is so fun. Look, look at that. Uh, I did it too much, but yeah, whatever. But yeah, that's going to be cool. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. So I'm going to work on this thing now and uh i'll get back to you what are you doing going through my stuff get out of here disgusting uh you know what that's the problem Oh my mother... What are you doing in here? Get out of here! Oh, way! Holy crap! This is... That's literally the reason why I'm, like, trying to... Build this thing now. Make sure he doesn't come through. Because he'd be clipping into my factories, and that, that'd be looking, like, real funky. And I don't like that. I am ruthless to these creatures, man. Completely ruthless. Okay, so basically I've fleshed out the location a little bit, made things look a little bit nicer. Like, so from the outside, it looks a little bit more like a building than anything else. Oh, I think I just found a... I'm going to make something nice right here at the corner. Yeah, I want to do something cool here. There we go. Nudge mode is amazing. Okay, so yeah, I made this thing. I just did the, the corners, that side and this side. It looks really nice. I think it looks really cool from the outside, or at least this side of the building does. We got some weird support things underneath over here, but um, I'm not too, I'm not, I didn't flesh that out yet. But over here with all the tra uh, tractor supplies for the depots for the, um, for all the machinery uh all the input and output so we got two inputs uh i made this and then i made a second one just in case and but i, I there's no use for it but but for right now um uh, oh i think i didn't i didn't do this part yet but yeah uh it looks kind of nice i like how i made it all surrounded by windows and then i stop it and then it goes out that way which is cool but and it's all dark and stuff, but these tractors have lights, so when they when they go out and do their thing, they'll light up the area. But like, look at that. There we go. So they don't necessarily need lights on top of it. So, yeah. Justification for why I only have lights here instead of on the sides. I think that's a I think that's a nice aesthetic. Yeah. I think it is. It looks pretty cool. So we got a lot of water. We won't need, um, we're not making a mega base over here. This is kind of like a part, uh, a partial location where we can make some certain things with the refineries 
and increase uh, ingot output and not have to worry about uh, ore maximization. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool, especially that we have all this thing coming in from the top. Yeah. All right. So let me continue with the logistics and getting steel into the uh, to the base. And it's going to look nice. It's going to look cool. It's going to look great. I've been wanting to make this location look better, too. So I'm actually quite happy about it. All right, so I got the steel coming out, looking nice. It does its thing. I need to put a sign up here to tell myself in the future when, how much steel I'm actually producing. But it's around uh, around 500 per minute. That's why I need to separate the belts coming out. I have like a special rule in how I make these things go up. It does the thing. I like it. It's cool. It's great. It's coming out real nice. It goes down into the floor and then into my steel absorbing uh, truck station. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm going to get, I'm going to finish up a bunch of stuff and then I'll uh, get back to you guys. This got to go. That looks so weird. All right, so here's this really cool thing that I uh, I decided to do. So, so in the game, there actually isn't a uh, a way to like have something go into this and then out there, like two inputs and two outputs, and then using a smart splitter to like split out which item goes to which. So what I what I do in order to like cross feed things because I don't want to like build a bridge to go over it. I just put something in the exact location of where this is going to cross the belt and it looks like it just goes into it and through it because of this is just an optical illusion all this this is just one continuous belt that goes through this point perfectly and then this is actually the belt where everything goes like into this and then through there so it's kind of a useless uh thing but Oh, you know what I should do, actually? And then... So this stays as one continuous belt, and this stays as one continuous belt. And there's less, uh... There's less processing with this. So that's probably a better way of doing it. Instead of splitting this into two belts, so the... My CPU has to render two things at the same time. Uh, leave it as one continuous belt, and this is one continuous belt. And then this is just an object that just sits there that doesn't do any math because... Um... When items go into this, there's like a buffer, a storage buffer in this internal, uh, into this thing. And the processor has to process that every time an item goes into this. And whenever an item leaves, it has to like, it has to keep track of everything. So more performance on my part. And I think that's what I'm going to keep start doing going forward. So yeah, that's cool. That's great. I'm going to continue this, make the supply, and then yeah, we'll be gold. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've been doing a bunch of uh, fixing stuff, but I just remembered what uh, items I wanted to make. So we're going to be doing heavy... before, Hopefully before the episode's done. Uh, heavy module frames and computers. So uh, And maybe in maybe oscillators, but I want computers and heavy modular frames. Oscillators aren't really needed. And uh, this is where we start making the advanced stuff for the space elevator, but we're not, we don't need that right now. So it seems like we're going to need, oh, encased steel beams. That's why I wanted to make that. Oh, man. That's what that uh, off-site place was supposed to be. But um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let me get a better look. Better look. Yeah. But uh, computers. Okay, computers we can do. That won't be too much. And oscillators we can do. Heavy modular frames are going to be kind of difficult because of the encased industrial beams. How much is that? Two per minute? That's insane for 10 industrial beams. We're going to have to just settle for five industrial beams. Uh, so one per minute. I really like that I have a blueprint for this now because like all I got to do is just I want more. I just increase the uh, conveyors to the next to the next uh, um, splitter. So yeah, um, let's see. Ooh, 
Look at that. Look at that. And all the wires are completely like set. And we're all we're all using Mark IV, Mark III belts, which is good. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Because uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of exploring. Oh, exploring. I completely forgot. Just remembered something. The ma'am. Did we get turbo fuel? Yeah, we did not. Oh, and we got another. And uh, it only increases by 8.7. Not worth it. Turning curtanium, curtanium, catarium um, into wire is stupid. Um, ooh, we got another computer recipe. But we use rubber. Ooh, that actually might be lucrative. We might be able to make a little bit more. Yes, because we're not using rubber right now and we have rubber going into the base. So we might as well use it. So yeah, let's do that. That's perfect. We just helped out our own situation right then and there. Let's go. Got one more hard drive. Maybe I'll end it when the hard drive is done. So we got 10 minutes to build this stuff out. Also, now that I got blueprints, we can delete entire blueprints just like that easily. And these didn't get deleted out, but that's fine. That is perfectly fine. So this is in a good location. Um, we're gonna use <laughs> we're gonna use the alternate computer recipe where we use oh we even we use a little bit more circuit boards, but we make a little bit more from the amount of circuit boards. And quick wire, we got a <laughs> we got a nice good old caterium. Uh, we're bare. Are we even using it like? Like we're okay, so we got one split off and it's barely being used. Oh, that's perfect. So we need 180 criterium. We can easily do 200, can we? Criterium wire because it make it produces a lot of criterium. Yeah, let's you know what? Let's do oh, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, computers, oscillators, and I'll get back to you guys after I'm done with that. Actually, nah. We're doing too much today. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. Thank you very much. Uh, please uh, please like and subscribe and comments are great too. And yeah, so uh, before we even end it off, we got to uh, do that nice little save. We're at 96 hours. 96 hours. Okay, so we got 87 and now we're at 96. That's a lot of hours. A lot of hours for, from episode 9 to episode 10. That's almost, that's almost 10 hours. Damn. Like 10 hours into the game. Like pure, hard, cold time and sweat and uh, yeah, dedication. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing in the next one. I'm going to keep that there so it reminds me when I come back to this game. And yeah, um, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully uh, you'll come back for the next episode. And uh, yeah, this is cool. It's a fun game. Factory Sims are really addicting. They're very calming because you make things the way that you want it and things don't clip when you don't want them to clip. Like that is just like, look at this, look at this. Oh wait, no, you can't see it, Never mind. But anyways, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye now.